Life is hard, with constant struggles, trials and tribulations. And life can really knock you on your ass sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I just got into the slump and I couldn't get out of it. But then I discovered plugins. plugins. Steam Deck plugins. You might be wondering why I'm sharing these life-altering epiphanies. Why not just keep them to myself and lounge in luxury? Well, the Nigerian prince who so generously told me about all this said I have to share these tips with at least three people. Or risk losing my Steam Deck forever and we can't let that happen. All my favorite Steam Deck plugins ordered by life-altering mess. Is that even a word? Did these plugins actually change my life? All right, we'll break things down in three sections. Well, technically four if you include the install of Decky Load, which we'll do first. We've got number one, function. Number two, fun. Number three, miscellaneous. Let's get into it. So, to use any of the plugins, you need to install Decky Loader. I went over this in my Steam Deck Starters Guide. Here's what you need to know. On your favorite browser, head over to the Decky Loader site. Just follow the prompts, it's very simple. Once installed, go back to gaming mode and select the plug symbol in the bottom of the quick menu. Here you can go to the marketplace of Decky and install plugins to your heart's content. Proton DB. I love this plugin and I wouldn't want to go without it. Proton DB adds an extra badge on the screen that shows you how compatible your game is with the Steam Deck based on community input. Ranging from bronze, aka you're probably not going to want to play this on the Steam Deck, to platinum, as in this is amazing, 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 depending on the game, of course. If you click into the badge, there's community comments and often even game setting recommendations. Pretty sweet. And just having that little extra indicator to see if a game is supported or how it runs on the deck is awesome. And I often find it more reliable than Valve's out of the box system. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be sh This is an A for me. Not as sexy as ProtonDB, but still very important. The storage cleaner plugin. The Steam Deck, in Valve's constant pursuit to try and make games perform better, is always downloading shader Let's packs. Game. But that's beside the point. These shader packs can come at quite a cost in storage space for certain games, especially with the 64 gig model. This can get noticeable. Lucky for us, it's the storage cleaner plugin, which lets you selectively remove shader packs for games you might not be using every day and free up some space. Just keep in mind, when you do want to play, you might want to download the shader packs again because your game might run like a snail through some metal. A solid A rating for this plugin. Controller tools. Simple little plugin that lets you see what controllers you've connected to your Steam Deck. You might wonder to yourself, why do I need that? We can already do this in the settings menu. Good question. And to that, I have two things to say. Number one, that is way far out. Check out how many clicks that is. Versus this. Alright, granted, due to the sheer number of plugins I've got installed, it's actually not that fast and my point got lost a bit, but for my second point, with this plugin, you can go into way more granular detail, like battery percentage, and, well, that's pretty much it, but I mean battery percentage, right? Alright, let's see, it's not that helpful. A couple of quick ones in the lightning rod. Vibrant Deck. Another one I talked about in the Stylus Guide. A nice little plugin to adjust the hue, brightness, contrast and colors and make your screen look as weird as you want. A B rating for this one. Next up, Bluetooth. Exactly what you think it is. A quick access menu version of the Bluetooth menu. A C rating, as in my opinion it doesn't add that much. Instead of clicking the Steam button, you now click the triple dot button, but it's pretty much the same. To save your battery, there's auto suspend. Set thresholds to trigger warnings, system suspensions and shutdowns to save your battery. Or set warnings for playtimes by session, total playtime or overcharging. Lots of different options. Pretty cool, but not life altering. A C rating. Pause game. Now this is cool. And I know what you're gonna say. You can already run multiple games at the same time. But not really. The Steam Deck doesn't really like you doing that. With the pause plugin, you can actually suspend games and hold them in memory without having to close them. Similar to something like Xbox Quick Resume that lets you swap between multiple games. Sadly, it won't free up GPU and CPU memory from pause applications. So you really can't have a bunch of big games in memory. You can also pause games before suspending your system, which can solve some issues with audio crackling. All in all, pretty cool. I'd say this is an A. Ta-da! This one's for the real Thinkros. It really lets you get into the nitty gritty controls of the Steam Deck. Think per thread configurations, bounded clock speed, override the TDP settings for overclocking and stuff like that. I honestly don't know much about all this stuff and in all fairness, if you do, you probably already know about this plugin, but I still wanted to mention it in case you wanted to get in the weeds. I'm gonna give this an A. I can see how this could be important to a lot of people. I 
can't hear you. Oh, yeah, Captain! If your Steam Deck isn't silly enough, or you need more SpongeBob SquarePants in your life, the animation changer is gonna be a game changer for you. Yes. The Valve Boot sequence exists. And you can get a lot of cool ones from the Steam store with hard-earned points from games you so compulsively buy. No, no, we're not buying anything. No, no, no. But if you really want to customize, the animation changer is key. Stuff like that. Hundreds of boot up and shutdown sequences can be found here. All more crazy than the last. Not essential, but certainly fun. Rating, bruh. Steam Grid DB. This plugin is not essential per se. But again, if you want to customize and personalize, this is a good one. Steam Grid DB lets you assign custom artwork to your game. Take a look. So we got to change artwork here, and then you can, <laughs> well, maybe let's look at a different one. <laughs> well, you get what I'm saying. Oh my. Lots of, uh, Big changes to be made here. I'm gonna rate this one a C. Fun, but not essential. Since I bought my Steam Deck almost two years ago now, I have to say I really turned around on the use of plugins. For a long time, I kept my Steam Deck vanilla and I was very happy with it. Then I started this channel and I wanted to record some video footage. I needed some plugins and one thing led to another. Now my Steam Deck's absolutely swamped with plugins. And honestly, I really think it has made it into a more enjoyable experience. The next plugin is probably one of my favorites. I love looking at data, numbers, stats, etc. I'm sure I have that in common with a lot of people. And with how long to beat or HLTB, you see exactly how long a game takes. Broken down the main game, main game plus, and completion. All with their own stats. I love looking at a good game I've been playing, comparing how long I've played the game against how much more time I get to spend with the game. Yes, for the super cool. As we just established, we all love graphs, tables, and numbers. So I present to you Playtime Plugin. This one pairs especially well with the HLTB plugin. It tracks what you've played, when, and for how long. And it also gives total numbers and games in pie charts, which is amazing, let's be honest. The only drawback I see is that you're going to be feeling even more guilty about your gaming addiction. With these concrete numbers, there's no more denying it. I only recently discovered this one myself, so I don't have much data to show. But I'm definitely going to be using this a solid B. I'm going to make it actually stop. So, I'm not sure what kind of black magic or voodoo this next plugin uses, but it works. It plays the theme music of any game, no matter how obscure. Although I haven't tested this in such detail, so don't quote me on that. So far, it's always worked. And I've gone back to games from 2001. The games don't even have to be installed. Like I said, there's black magic afoot here, and I love it. Solid A rating. Now, if you don't know what to play, this next one's for you. Deck Roulette. It'll pick a random game from your library and you can use what filter to you, for example, install, all game, runs well on Steam Deck, you name it. I've found games through this plugin that I've literally never even seen in my library. This gets another A rating. Really fun to play something random or different if you're bored. And I bring you all this style, personality, and suave using Decky Recorder. Nice. This is probably the first plugin I ever installed. Right after creating this channel, you can use Decky Recorder to record any kind of gameplay or Steam Deck footage in gaming mode. Another cool little feature of this plugin is that you can save replay data up to five minutes back for those incredible feats that need to be shared with the world. You just disabled a moving truck with a grenade while jumping off a horse. <laughs> and you can easily trigger it using Started Steam. This is a nice little plugin and I'm gonna rate it a B. Slack. A nice little plugin that goes hand in hand with Decky Recorder is a Deck MTP. Out of the box, the Steam Deck won't let you transfer data via USB. This plugin lets you turn that on. There are other ways to transfer data, like Winpinator. You can check my Steam Deck starter guide for more info on that. But there's nothing like just plugging in your USB cable and transferring that data. Nice and simple. Getting it set up takes a bit of doing. Download Deck MTP from, you guessed it, Decky Loader. Then you'll have to go into the BIOS, which can be a little scary. To go into the BIOS, turn off your Steam Deck, then hold the power button and volume up button. Then in the BIOS, go to Advanced, USB Config, USB Dual Roll Device, and then change it from XCHI to DRD. Save and exit the changes. And your Steam Deck should reboot automatically. Now in Deck MTP, enable MTP. Now you should be able to plug in your USB and you're good to go. We're gonna rank this plugin in A. And it turns out that I'll save a whole nickel if I cut your salary. Next one is for all you cheap asses out there, including this one. Freeloader is an absolute must if you're pursuing the noble goal of building your games library. We could all use some help with this, of course. Freeloader, as the name suggests, is here to do just that. They use the Game Power website to see what games you can claim for free from the Steam Store, Epic Store, you have it. In fact, before I forget... Sort of fight, and now you have one. Oh crap, that's a lot of... All right, we got this. Oh, no, Lozelle! Gale, not you too, buddy! 
shallow heart. Oh, well. You know what? I could really use a guide for this. Well, duh. Alright, so it doesn't always work. But the GameFAQ plugin lets you look up guides for your installed games. I love the idea. Pulling up a guide directly next to your game, that's perfection. That is, until you start playing around with it. The little screen on the side just isn't very conducive to looking stuff up. It really is better to just use your phone next to the Steam Deck. It's a D. Sorry GameFAQ, I really wanted to like you. Why do you torture me so? On to a completely different type of plugin. I mentioned this one in my Steam Deck Styles Guide. CSS Loader, aka Themes. Download new themes from the store and with the flick of the switch, turn one on. Or multiples. Turn them all on if you'd like. Customization is nearly endless. Want a more Switch-like GUI? It's here. Want that nice clean white look from the Wii? I've added a solid B for this one. Tab Master. Why not? Tab Master, Tab Master. This is a fun little plugin that gives you full control over the tabs in your library. It, for example, allowed me to make this nice little tab with unsupported games. Also, not essential, but a decent B, I think. Lastly, we'll do a couple of quick call outs. Moon Deck. This adds a button on the game page for easy streaming using Sunshine slash Game Stream, which apparently is smoother than the Steam Link. I haven't used this plugin, so it's hard for me to judge, but it sounds useful. I'd say another B. Deck setting. In theory, this plugin sounds really cool, but sadly, when I last checked, it doesn't seem to be operational with the latest Steam Deck software update. This plugin, in theory, lets you look at optimal settings for your games based on all of people's experience. This sounds super helpful and would totally be an S ranking. I'll check back in a little while to see if they updated this. Music control slash audio loader. Two plugins that are very similar, but also completely different. Music control lets you use music players like Spotify and Pandora to play music in the GUI or even in game. C ranking for this one. Audio loader, on the other hand, lets you download sound themes for your GUI. Say I can't get enough of this Zelda map sound. Now I can hear it every time I open up the quick access or Steam menu. Glorious! But I'm still gonna rate it a C. Lastly, there is Mango Peel. You can adjust any overlay settings here. Want to add or remove something, change the layout, the width, the height, whatever you want. I like the out of the box layouts the Steam Deck has, so I haven't used this much. But for some people, this might be good. Rating B. So, is it true? Did these plugins alter my life? Wow. Probably not exactly as advertised in the thumbnail. A lot of them are really good and definitely changed the way I play on my Steam Deck. Do you have any favorite plugins or plugins that I missed? I'm curious. I would love more plugins. Let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for more games to play, check out this video to see all the good stuff that's coming out in November. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.